Lord. The guy had a, uh, a cam helmet camera that had on the side of his head. I think a lot of people record their commutes, their bike commutes, just in case an injury happens, they have the documentation. And they'll sue you for all your work. Okay, so as one uh, frequent viewer mentioned, just because I don't post videos does not mean I'm dead. Um, and I should warn you, I'm going on an extended vacation. So this will be the last video in a while, I think. We'll see. Maybe less than frequent for like two weeks. All right, so today I want to talk about the automotive relay. Okay, now this is an electronic device that is uh, crucial to many applications in a lot of products you probably already use, such as the car. But I want to talk to you first about the box theory, which is the schematic diagram written on the box. And as you can see here, so it shows 86 and 85. Okay, when that is connected, then 30 and 87 will turn on. But as it is right now, 30 and 87A are already connected, okay? So it's really when you pass the signal from 85 to 86, then 30 and 87 will be connected. Now, that's the theory, so let's dive into the actual component. I'll show you the relay. I've been dealing with these a lot recently, and I figured I'd do a little sag on it. Okay, so here we have the same schematic diagram, and there's our five pins. Okay, so they're all labeled here, 86 and 85. Those are the initial two. You connect 12 volts across there. This one's a 12 volt relay. Then you can get connection between this one and this one. But naturally, this guy and this guy are connected. So it's a simple device. It's just like running a race. You pass off the baton and you relay the signal. So it's like saying, if you jump across this way, then you'll jump across this way on the circuit. So it's simple. They're cheap, they're about five bucks, and uh, they're pretty uh, they're pretty useful, so. Well, there's a helicopter in the sky, and that is the say. Until next time, that's the sag.